please just be healthy. But I want to say to those that are on the Goddess Just Be Healthy page, this is so important as it pertains to health and wellness. I have two pages here and I talk on this page about, about mindfulness because all is mind at the end of, end of the day. All things are energy, frequency, and vibration. When you understand that, you understand the totality of God. And not only that, you understand the totality of who you are because you are God in physical form. So I really, look at that person using the energy. Hey, energy. Hey, Barry and Jackie. So I usually on this here um, help page. Hey, all great builders. Thank you for being here. I use it on this help page, talk about health, I talk about physical, I talk about how to um, avoid dis-ease in the physical. I get real physical on this particular page because there are people in the, on this, in the physical reality that only can see physical. Some of them can't understand or understand the non-physical part of them. But keep in mind, you all that are on the health page, <laughs> the physical is only 0.01% of it all. So all of the stuff that I share with you all, yeah. <laughs> Jesus is fishing though, okay. All the stuff that I share with you all about the physical, it really, really, is a little bit of the piece of the puzzle because the non-physical is 99.999 and that is where you are so on this particular video i want to upload to my youtube channel and i want to be able to teach and leave that behind for people who are on a journey that want to better understand the non-physical but in this physical reality we must respect the avatar self we must respect the uh, physical too because we're getting to know thyself. And in knowing thyself, we must know the totality, the physical and the non-physical, the good versus the evil, the darkness versus the light. As within, so without. You know, on earth, as it is in heaven, and so forth, right? Let's see. Hey, Lee. Don't be colorful. Okay, <laughs> okay, Lee. I uh, hope you have the day that you deserve, cause I don't have time for that right now. I'm here to teach people, so you you wild out in the comments. Keep on talking, though, Lee, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna use your energy since I say all things are energy. The people over here on God, um, God is just be healthy. There's a person named Lee on God is just be page, and he talking crazy. But I'm gonna let him sit there and talk crazy, cause right now I ain't even gonna hate this being so perfect timing. I ain't even going to um, be paying attention to the comment right quick because I really have to get this message out. That's what you do with energy. When you want it to die, you ignore it. You don't give it life. Okay, so let's keep going. So anyway, we we're talking about energy, frequency, and vibration. And we're talking about energy, frequency, and vibration. We have to understand the foundation of who we are. We have energy portals inside of our body, right? Energy centers, so to speak. That or moving, right? Or maybe clogged up, depending upon what you've been through or exposed to. And people call these chakra pools of energy. We have chakra pools of energy. And interesting enough, these chakra pools of energy correlate to different organs in our body. And so these chakra pools of energy are, are really created based upon your experience. Even when you're first in the womb, in your mother's womb. That's why it's really important to have healthy parent, you know, be in a healthy situation before you bring forth a child. Because even in a mother's womb, you can hear your mother. You can feel you are experiencing what she's going through, whether she's in a healthy relationship with daddy or not, whether she's afraid, you know, whether she's feeling powerless, whether she's creative, whether she has wisdom, whether she's speaking her truth or not. As a baby, you could experience those things, right? And experiencing those things, you're creating your energy networks, your chakra pools of energy. And since we're all energy centers, we're all energy frequency and vibration, these chakra pools of energy is actually what we are seeing. 
with others. Like right now on this page, you all think maybe because of the physical essence that you're seeing my physical, but actually you're seeing my light, a spectrum of light. You're seeing what is called my aura, right? So my aura comes forward first before you could even see my being, my essence, my avatar, me being a black lady, for example. Before all of that, you felt when you came on this page, you felt my aura. Now the aura is an expression of all of the light that you are emitting from every energy pool in your body, every chakra pool of energy. From your root chakra, that's your first energy center, and this particular energy center is created or is present when you like maybe only one years old from your root chakra all the way to your crown chakra. Now keep in mind, this is expressed in the first seven years of your life, all right, because you have seven energy centers and because they're expressed or they're, they're developed, then you have a light that is emitting from them once you are seven years old. In every seven years, it depends upon whether you grow in that particular area of your life or not, will you emit another energy center, another aura expression about yourself. So let's say, for example, you are um, on this help page journey and you, you are feeling dis-ease or sickness in your physical reality. What that's saying in the spiritual realm where 99.99% 99 of all energy in life exists is that your power or your will and your solar plex is not in balance. That's simply what it's saying because all sickness and disease start in the spiritual realm first before it is present in the physical reality. So it is so important that we go back to the source where we can heal these things so that our aura would have a new light of expression and so that we won't experience sickness and disease and we'll eventually evolve, meaning all seven chakra pools of energy are emitting a high frequency or sending out a bright light, a beautiful, colorful, purple light of expression to create a beautiful aura to create one of those Christ consciousness aura, which represents maybe a purple color or even a clear color, right? Clearing your energy, right? That represents crown chakra energy. That represents you rising to your higher self. So I wanna go through them and explain to you what these centers are and what they mean and why you might be out of balance. You gonna know when I start talking about the particular one based upon what you've been through in your physical reality, it knocks out one of your chakra pools of energy, creating dis-ease and disharmony in that area. And this disease, disease and disharmony, everybody see it. This is this is on a subconscious level. So it's hidden from you, but everybody see it because everybody is seeing your aura. So the first one is the root chakra. The root chakra, and that represents really survival. That's trust. So for the people in their physical reality who might maybe left underneath a tree, you know, their mama didn't, didn't um, raise them and sent them to an orphanage or something, or their mama just left them all the time. They felt some kind of abandonment issues for themselves. Or when they were in the mother's womb and the mama didn't feel trusted by, she didn't um, trust her partner. She had a shaky relationship and she was afraid maybe she was homeless or something when she was pregnant this baby in the womb if that was you can feel that so that means the root chakra automatically for for you based upon your experience whether you were in your womb or you were just one years old based upon your experience based upon how you was perceiving life or whatever you were receiving may have your root chakra out of balance and we'll see people in this particular place because all of you on this live have experienced somebody that has trust issues and to the core of why they have trust issues is because their root chakra is out of balance and you know them you could just start talking to them and you'll pick up on it real soon so half of you won't even tell this person this person might even be your friend 
and you know your friend got trust issues because you picked up their light. You picked up their energy center, their root chakra being out of balance. You have to pick up their, that light because you are light. And all that we are seeing is expressions of light that's coming in from others and that's going out from ourselves. <laughs> So the next one will be our sacral chakra that represents sexuality and creativity. This here chakra pool of energy can be out of balance because of desire too. You know, um, watching or, or growing up with a, a mother that, you know, was very promiscuous or maybe you were molested or saw other people around you maybe molested or whatever. You know, that, that sacral chakra gets out of balance at those points because you, you, you develop kind of like anger or resentment toward the person that may have, um, you know, molested you, that may have wronged you. And then you get to a place in your life where you don't want another man to touch you no more. You don't want another woman to touch you no more. So now your sacral chakra, your creativity, your desire, maybe even now you won't have sex no more. Your desire is out of balance. You don't want any, or maybe it made you want a lot. Because it go both ways. Maybe you want a lot. Now maybe you're really, really promiscuous. So the light that is emitting from your sacral chakra is out of balance. And keep in mind, men and women know this. Y'all think men are crazy. Men can pick up on this signal. Men can pick up on them fast ladies easily. They could pick up on a signal because it's a signal of light. Everybody could see it. And you think you, you talk about you out to get yours. But the man, no, the man knows that your signal energetically is out of balance. So if he is at his lower self and his signal is out of balance, guess what? Y'all meet because all things are energy, frequency, and vibration. Y'all meet. Y'all intertwine. Because y'all both vibrate on the same frequency based upon your aura. And this also explains why in the physical reality we get to points in life where we want money, but we vibing. Our aura is, is pretty much sending out a signal that we're lacking and we don't believe in ourselves. We're, we're not feeling worthy for the money. We can't energetically get on that plane until we get to know ourselves. Until we get our chakra pools of energy all in balance to emit the right frequency. So let's go up further to the one above that. That's your solar plex or your power and your will. Now, like I said, these energy centers can be too much or too little. Maybe you've in, in the womb felt like your mother, you know, picked up on a signal that your mother felt powerless. Right? Maybe that created your existing the um, current uh, frequency, but it can be changed. It could be changed by the renewing of the mind, no matter which one you out of balance in. And I'll get to that once I get to the crown chakra. So now your mother, she didn't feel any any power. She felt powerless in her journey. You know, she 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 felt like um she, she you know was powerless in her relationship with her partner. Or it can be where where you witness um too much of power. Just maybe you had egotistical type parents or whatever right <laughs> and you felt powerless when you came forward because they were so powerful right and you just ran and did everything everything just to please everybody because mama said because because daddy said because the teacher said and i just gotta do this and do and that creates this ease in you in the spiritual reality because now you have no power and that light you being powerless from your solar plex is giving you stomach issues over there on the health page yeah you you start with your stomach issues because you feel powerless yeah and you hold on to feeling powerless for so long and it correlates with the organ in your stomach because all of these energy pools correlate with our organ <laughs> so now it correlates in your stomach and now you have stomach issues because you've been spending so many years feeling powerless. Your solar plex is out of balance. 
Then we go move up to the heart. Maybe, maybe mama didn't nurture you. Maybe you ain't experienced no love from nobody because you was a little orphanage, a little orphan baby. Or maybe you, 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 you open your heart maybe and something happened where mama and daddy died or something. Tragic accident and now you don't love nobody. Maybe you, you, you developed it a little later. Maybe it was when you got your heart broke. And you say that you're over it. And everybody looking at you like, oh, Lord, she ain't over it. Oh, she depressed. Oh, she still want him. She been waiting for him to come back home for 10 years. And he went, when he went to the store to get the cigarettes, and she still have the house the same kind of way. And she, she don't want love and open her heart to nobody else. She want to hold on. <laughs> she, she's creating this ease and this harmony. She don't, she don't like this one. She's she jealous of that one. She's envious of that one. She, 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 she's, she's holding back her love or he holding back his expression of love because he don't want to feel like a simp. He, he don't want to see himself. So he going to hold on to it. He don't want to love nobody because maybe his mama was a bee and all other women are bees. And she don't want to love nobody because that first person that she loved, he dogged her so much. All of this goes back to your heart chakra, which really is the most powerful form of energy that there is. This heart could heal all of these other chakra pools of energy if you open it up. And so I'm not saying to open it up to be crazy. I'm opening, I'm saying open it up first of all and foremost to love yourself, to fill up your cup for yourself because it can heal energetically. The heart chakra being open can heal all chakra pools below and above. Okay. So this one here can represent disease in the physical reality by those people that have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Those women that have um, breast cancer men could get breast cancer too in the you know in their chest they could have cancer throughout their body too so it really doesn't matter but it shows up on the health page i'm letting you know that sickness and disease shows up based upon these feelings and these emotions that correlate with whatever energy pool or chakra pool that we're dealing with right so then we go above this one here the throat chakra this has to do with speaking your truth yeah, for the ones that want to be unhealed introverts. I used to be an introvert, so I know all about that story. Well, I still am. I'm just a healed one that know how to open up my mouth and come forth and speak. Anyway, for those that get to that place in their life where, you know, I've been so hurt, I ain't going to tell nobody how I feel. When I love, I ain't going to tell nobody. Or or better yet, you so shy. You say you so shy. And you get so nervous to speak in front of a crowd of people. That's simply because... um. You're not speaking your truth in the in the spiritual realm that it got to show up in the physical and then it'll show up as you be this little shy person because you're emitting a weak light. And so when your light is really, really strong and now I know this to be true because my, me, myself, through the years, my light has become so strong that people just stop in their tracks to listen to my voice because now it is emitting a different signal. It's sending out energetically a new frequency. It is emitting powerful light. And so I've been in rooms where I had a question to ask and everybody just turned around to look at me. And I now can understand why that is because of the light that you see, that they see, that I know to be true now that I am emitting because that was the energy pool that I was really low in. And so when I was low in it, I experienced thyroid issues, Hypo and hyperthyroid issues issues come in a physical form because in a spiritual reality you are not speaking your truth, and so everybody know that something is off in your aura because your aura is like too. It's the light that you're emitting to other people that's going out. And so when they see you, they they know you the little quiet one. Oh yeah, they he just like that. He don't he don't like to talk. She don't like to talk. But what they're really saying is, her light is dim. His light is dim. Or they know it when you go to the party, you kind of stand out. You don't want to stand out because you're supposed to be an introvert, but you really do stand out because your light is dim in that moment. That has to do with your toe chakra. And then we get to our, um, our third eye, our awareness. That's our all-seeing eye. And there are people in the physical reality that they ain't even aware of nothing. And so you develop this here where you, you probably picked it up from mom and dad. And maybe their eye was not single. They was not conscious. And so your eye closed. 
for a point in time too. Maybe you're in an environment where no, nobody really see you with that eye. They only see you only with the physical eye. Maybe they don't believe in nothing like that man that was up in here early. Maybe they don't believe in nothing. Maybe they just look at the physical and don't know nothing about no spirituality. No. They don't have they don't have no no idea of what's going on spiritually. Just even you you can look you can correlate this to um TikTok. You I know you all have seen somebody on TikTok, they'll come and they'll be like, you know, I I don't get no views. I'm I'm just I'm just here. Or they'll say something in the video that shows that subconsciously they don't feel like they 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 gonna get no views or they don't feel worthy of going, you know, getting so many followers. They ain't going they don't feel worthy of making it to just a little one thousand. Because the first thing they they say, I, I don't know if y'all listening or Y'all, nobody don't ever follow me. They say something that's telling you what's going on in their subconscious mind. So basically, those people are seeing with these two eyes. They never develop the ability to see with their all seeing eyes, seeing through the eye of God. And so they're limiting themselves. They're limiting themselves based upon their past. Because in the, even in the biblical text, that's all the Christ conscious one was doing was seeing people healed already. Being aware that all is God already. But most often than not, when you're vibrating just in the physical or when your third eye is, is closed, you ain't going to believe nothing. I posted a video about um, 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 the death experience and what happened. And they had a couple of people in the video that's going to tell me, based upon my experience, that I don't know. No, but I wasn't seeing with these two eyes. I was aware. I experienced something that you ain't never experienced. How you gonna tell me that my experience is no involved and void? You don't know. You're not in tune with all things. You're just in tune with these physical things here. But there is life outside of the physical. <laughs> and it's really more powerful than the physical. And that has everything to do with the third eye. And, and I, I believe that this is, this. I know this to be true, that this was our first eye. But a lot of us, we close that eye because we have trauma. And the trauma seems like it's way bigger than the non-physical. The, the physical seems like it's way physical. Um, it's way more bigger than anything else. The fact that maybe the car is not outside seems way bigger than the fact that I could close my eyes and be aware. To tap into being aware that I create the freaking car. <laughs> to be aware, to see myself already in the car. But if I open up my eyes and I look in the garage, it's not there. So this, this is a difference between being able to see with your awareness or see with this physical. If I was just still seeing with my physical, I would never be sitting in this house right now because I created this here house through seeing with my third eye. Through touching it, tasting it, experiencing it there before it can be here. And last but not least, this is a crown chakra and it has everything to do with your spirituality, your connection, your ability to connect, your ability to astral travel in in. <laughs> be clairvoyant yeah. and to see with your third eye and and interpret dreams and and to know that as above so below that all is mine that the spiritual does trump the physical reality and that my aura does reach people before I even walk in the room Simple things can remind you of this by simply getting a phone call from the person that you was just thinking of. You sent the message spiritually. By scrolling through TikTok and seeing a message on there that you relate to and you typing in the comments and say, dang, I was just talking about that. Because we are energy, because your aura, your frequency, your telepathic communication is the 99.999% of it all. 
So this physical reality that you may look upon and think is so real, you're creating it through thought because all is mind. You're creating it through past experience because your aura is sending a signal to us. It's going back to you. This is why in the biblical text it says your word, your expression, your light code will not turn back to you void. So you send that out a signal where you ain't loving, then you gonna get back to you. Oh, well she's not lovable, so she she's not gonna attract people that's gonna love her until she changed that chakra pool. She so she heals that chakra pool of energy. You don't be knowing you're sending this signal out, no, but we know. Your aura telling us because it's a subconscious thing. So you sending out a signal that you don't trust and guess who got to come around you? Everybody that ain't trustworthy to show you the signal that you sending out. And then that's what, and then that's when you say, I knew I couldn't trust them. Well, baby, you creating this thing energetically through the light that you sending out to other people. You creating it. So you sending out a signal that your sexual energy is out of balance, that you have no creativity, that I don't want, I don't want no men com coming over here because I ain't healed. I ain't healed from, from um, when I got molested maybe or when, when I got raped or whatever. You know, I ain't healed from that nasty relationship that I've been through. Uh-uh-uh. So you ain't got to tell us your story. Your light code that you sending out telling us your story. And so you go down, you go down the journey of maybe becoming a stud, or maybe a lesbian, or maybe just don't don't well, don't don't desire sex no more. You just out of balance, or you might just get so promiscuous that that you you just want to have sex with all the men or all the women in the world because you don't know yourself because you have trauma. You have trauma in your sacral chakra that you refuse to heal. That you refusing to heal. And you're not happy with your status, your 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 status of not having sex. You're not happy with it, or had, or going through all of these people. You're not happy with it, but you and you don't know how to change it. You have to be the change stuff. You're not happy when your heart chakra is out of balance. You be saying that, but then when you scroll through TikTok and you see other people getting married and stuff, you hmm, God, it's me again. But you're God though, and you're sending out a signal that says lovable and my work and I come back to me boy so there you are alone with your cats alone because energy is, is going to send you a reflection of what you are alone while everybody else you're the only one because you never healed the fact that mama wasn't nurturing for you and didn't show you the love that you thought you needed from her you have to be your savior not all all of that mama, daddy stuff out of end. When you learn this here, that all things are energy, frequency, and vibration, and you're adult now, you have to be accountable. Ain't no God, God darn it, what if mom and daddy dead? Ain't no time to be going back to raise no dead. It's time to become the savior for yourself. It's time to be, rewrite that story. It's time to send out a new signal, a new light code. It's time for you to heal these chakra pools of energy and become the Christ conscious one. Because that's really and truly the ultimate goal why you came forth in physical form to remember who you are. And you're the savior you're looking for. And you can see, you can sit there and you can get a consultation and you can boo-hoo and you can not grow if you want to. Well, it'll be to be, to be continued next lifetime until you get it. Because this is the game of life. You are on a journey whether you want to be on one or not. You could ignore it and say, oh, I only live once. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Well, what deja vu all about, baby? You've been here before. What that birthmark is on your body. Evidence you've been before how you died last lifetime. It's time to heal you. It's time to love you. In every sickness and disease that you will ever stumble upon happens through you. How you gonna heal it? The doctor ain't gonna heal it. They gonna get your money. You gonna be broke dealing with them. But ultimately, it's you that heal. And I can go as far as saying to you that even though I wholeheartedly know the energy of herbs and fruits and, 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 and nuts and seeds and water, even that really ain't gonna heal it. 
that help you along the process. But really and truly is your love for self. It's getting to know thyself that's healing yourself. Because love is the only thing that heals all. It's the love for self enough to go over there to desire to want to eat the live fruits. It's the love for the fruits and believing in them. Because you got to have love to heal. It's the getting up in the morning and loving on yourself while you're preparing your breakfast, your healthy meals. That's what's healing you. It's the renewing of your mind that, oh, I did it this way and I'm changing because I love myself. What is the greatest commandment of the, them all? This ties directly to it. That you love the Lord that God with all of your heart. Well, where is God? The kingdom of God is in you. So you got to have the love for self first. In order to heal every last chakra pool of energy that I just spoke about. It got to sort with love for self. And wait, oh, wait, hold up, hold up. What's the second commandment? Oh, it's that I love my neighbor. As I love myself. Oh, so that means I got to see these people through the eyes of God. Oh, oh, so what you're saying here is I got to let go of that trust issue that I was carrying on in my root chakra. What you're saying here is I got to I gotta have my creativity. I got to get my desire back. Oh, okay. What you're saying here is I got to focus on my power and will as it pertains to myself and to others. Oh, you mean I got to love me and I got to love them. Oh, you mean I got to love them so much that I could talk to them and speak my truth to them and set myself free? Oh, you mean I got to love me and myself and them so much that I can, I can see them through my first eye now? Oh, you mean that I got to love myself so much that I am now spiritually, I understand, I understand that spirituality is 99.999% of all of this here? Oh, that kind of love. That's what you're talking about here? Yeah, that, that kind of love. That represents my aura. That represents my kingdom coming. <laughs> that represents the union of the right. And left side of my brain. Oh, the union with the conscious versus the subconscious. Oh, you mean the union from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Oh. <laughs> the union with yin and yang. The union with the good versus evil. The union with the darkness versus the light. <laughs> the union with the lower self versus the higher self. Oh, so that's what the game of life is all about. The union. It talks about this in the biblical text. The bride and the groom. <laughs> the union. Oh, I see it. So in the beginning, I didn't have the union. Because in the Old Testament, they were teaching me about the physical. They were teaching me things not to do. They were teaching me things not to eat. Oh, okay. What not to do. Okay. And then when the Christ conscious one came in the New Testament. Oh, he oh, he said, I just came to show you love. Oh, just bless your food. Oh, I get it. The union of them both. The union of getting to know myself. Oh, it was all about the union. The union of me just being an atom in the Old Testament. All the way to me evolving to my higher self as a Christ conscious one. Oh, okay. The union. <laughs> so this is all life is about, baby. And I just stopped by and share with you. Your chakra pools of energy need a healing. And you are the one to heal it. You are the savior to yourself. Even if you book a consultation with me, I'm going to give you our homework. God. To teach you to remember that you God. In order for you to heal yourself. Because he ain't nothing. I can inspire you to heal. I can remind you that you're the Christ conscious one. But you got to do the work. You see. Because <laughs> you're the dry bones. That's waiting for life. To be. Breathe breath. Um, breathe breath into. You're, you're, you're the Lazarus so to speak. That was dead. And, and it's time for you to come forward. You are every state of being in that biblical text. Maybe right now you're on this here live and you're Job. And I lost everything you had because you put out a signal. You emitted a light code that you wasn't worthy. That you didn't trust 
nobody. That you were lovable. So maybe you lost everything you had based upon where you are in your subconscious mind or your state of being. But only you can save you. Only you are the one that's going to make your latter days the best days of your life by renewing your own mind. By renewing your mind. That's it, babe. That's the video. <laughs> She's giving you the blueprint. Hey, God, Gorilla God. Pass around the ties bucket. <laughs> that's funny. That is so funny. Let me go through these comments right here and see. I needed this. Yeah, imagination is the key. It is so, it is so much the key. This is why they say in the biblical text, if you can't come to God as a child, you can't make it into the kingdom. Imagination using this third eye, seeing through your first eye. Some people call it the third eye. Some people call it the first eye. But seeing through that whole seeing eye again, imagination. And when you get there, be just like a child. Just touch it. Taste it. Feel it. Whatever it is that you're longing for. It, maybe it's your health. If you're looking, if you're on this here health conscious page. Baby, you gotta be healthy already. You gotta be healthy in that human imagination already. You gotta see yourself whole no matter what that blood work say. You gotta, even through the pain. You got to be like, oh, that pain. Oh, okay, I know what that is. That's the cells of my body. They working together to save my life. Oh, I can feel it. It feels so good. I trust my cells. I trust the cells of my body are healing me right now. I'm going to go up in here and give them some water. Yeah, because I love my cells. Oh, I think the cells of my body every day because they are renewing right now. They hear my voice speaking the word. I can feel them now. Oh, let me just hug myself. Let me just experience this moment of renewal within myself. So you got to get real, real juicy with it like a child would. You tell a child, let's pretend we're Superman. The child go into imagination immediately. <laughs> Children can do it instantly. Even a dog. You you start running with your dog and the dog just ready because they know how to get into that state of being easily. But some of us, we, we look at the physical. Girl, the doctor said I ain't going to make it. I'm just going to sit here and wait to die. It's like, wait, 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 hold, hold up. Don't you know that all this energy, all is mine? The cells of your body hear you speaking that. So they hear the order and they must confirm. Because once again, your word, your word, your spoken truth, your feeling, your word cannot come back to you. Voice was sent out and, and it got to come back. And they said, oh, 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 send her death. But she spoke the word that I'm sitting here and I'm just going to die. She got the feeling to send her to the non-physical, but she'll be back though because she not finished getting to know herself. She didn't make it all the way to the Christ conscious level. So she'll be back. And then the next lifetime, she'll she'll have the deja vu. The next lifetime, she, she'll probably get on that frequency where she don't even want to hear nothing doctors say. And now she probably want to be so gun ho about being healthy because last lifetime, that's the part she left off at. <laughs> Over and over. But it's like in the energetic world that you, you go learn a day, you know. And today might be a million years and one million years might be a day. But you go get this life lesson because it's the game of life. And you wanted to participate. Matter of fact, there was nothing else to do. So you decided to experience yourself. You decided to come forward in physical form to remember yourself. And anytime we're remembering, we're remembering from where we once were. And that is all knowing. That's that where that first I is, right? That's that all knowing. That's that infinite intelligence that you stem from. That's that darkness that was on the face of the deep before the foundation of this recreated world. Because we rewrite this world over and over again. Because <laughs> guess what? We are noting at all. 
But at the same time, we are everyday. <laughs> it's beautiful when you understand or understand this. But the point here is your chakra pools of energy. Make sure they're in balance, baby. Make sure they're filled up and moving, baby. Not too much, not too little. Balance. Because if you're too much with your expression, you have hypo and hyper. That thyroidism is it's, it's, it's about balance. All things about balance. <laughs> balance yourself so that you could experience God. Or should I say heaven? While still on earth. While still in your avatar suit. You don't want to miss that. Hey, Dior. Thank you for being here. Hey, Ali. Ashe. I'm going to ask a spiritual question. Go ahead on, 504. I'm looking at the comments now. Hey, Tia Tia. Hello, beautiful. Yo, for real. Let's see. Hello, my queen. Hey, Eric. Erica. Sullivan. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Hey, uh, Debbie. Team. Let me see if there's comments over here. Thank you. Hey, peoples. 33. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, I love you too, babe. Yeah, definitely. Now, let's see. There was a question up here before I go. Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. If you have any questions, mug them here. If not, I'm going to end this. Letting you know. Yes, girl, tell us. <laughs> Um, I'm going to end this letting you all know that I do consultations. Check out my website, www.totalherithub.org. For those of you who are on the Hell Conscious page, I have detoxes there. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's, we all on a journey, just learning, learning and winning. I have detoxes there for the health conscious people. I have soaps, uh, body butter, uh, deodorants, um, shampoo. Um, teas to help you with powerful herbs. I only go for powerful herbs that I know that's going to electrify your already electric body and put you in another state of being where you can build up the confidence of, of loving self again and experiencing self at a cellular level. These things cleanse you. And once you cleanse your body on a cellular level, then you have mental clarity about yourself and you begin to remember. And that's really the beginning stage that was for me for opening up my first eye again. It was like a light switch went off and I got so much of clairvoyancy and so much of clarity, mental clarity about myself that I began to get really more inquisitive in my, in my faith, in my spirituality. And then I began to see things that I never used to see before and understand people and myself like I never did before. And at the same time, simultaneously, I was opening up my heart because like I said, my toe chakra was out of balance. But me opening up my heart for loving self and loving nature and, and becoming an herbalist and being around nature and in the sun all the time, it quickened my body. And that's the same thing I'm hopeful that you get to a state of being to do one day in your journey. Quicken your body, quicken the cells of your body because they're alive. Oh, everything alive. This this camera alive. This countertop alive. Everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. And it's just vibing at a lower or faster speed than you. Just like our sound with doggy whistles. Doggy whistles can hear them. There's another sound frequency that you don't hear as well. You know, so in the biblical text, it will tell you, you have eyes and you're not seeing. You have ears and you are not hearing. That's what it's saying because there's so many spectrums of light here in the physical reality, in the spiritual reality, that can be interpreted here in the physical. Yeah, so you leave me when I come on. Okay, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was a beautiful message. Hey, Tway. Should I take the coconut oil every day? Yep, you should. I do. Until I skip. Yeah, because you might eat something that, you know, you need the beneficial coconut oil to take care of for you, you know, especially if you're still kind of like a meat eater. Yep, it's good. And you're not wrong with taking coconut oil every day. It's amino acids. It, I'm on day what, 49 of my uh, detox? It's the thing that, the only thing, out of all things, even sea moss, I feel it's the only thing. It gives me the energy that I need. My healthy um, fats, my amino acids. That's real protein that people talk about when they're trying to say you need the protein you need. No, they talk about amino acids. So I I take maybe two or three spoons a day. Being that I'm on this fast, I'm actually going to take it when I get off this uh, live because I ain't taking it yet. But yeah, every day. 
I'm going to miss a day because it also fights viruses too, especially around the so-called, and I say so-called because that's physical, uh, flu season. Yeah, it'll make sure that you don't, you don't have any type of viruses, any type of parasites, back, nasty bacteria. Yeah, fall in love with it. Fall in love with coconut oil. Now, not so much on your skin because it's a high alkaline, but in your inside of your body, taking it, digesting it, while out. You can't go wrong. Ain't gonna do nothing but soften your um your bowel and help you use the bathroom if you take too much. See the thing about um herbs that's different from you know the rocks, aka medicine that the doctors give you, is that you take too much of a herb, then your body gonna expel the excess. You take too much of that medication or whatever, then now your kidneys hurting, now your liver messed up or whatever, right? It's a difference. So you can't get it wrong with, with the coconut oil. No babe. Go for it. While out. <laughs> Yeah, will you post this on YouTube? Yes, I will. Is avocado oil and olive oil good as well? Yeah, yeah. Avocado uh, oil is very, very good. Uh, healthy fats, um, vitamin E, and out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Avocado, coconut, um, grapeseed, olive. Yeah, those are the good ones. Those are the ones that I use. Definitely, they're the best. You're so cute. <laughs> hey, God, it's Kate Love. Thank you. Let me see. Let me make sure that I, I see one more coming over here. You're welcome. Okay, that's it. No more questions. This video was from my heart to yours. Y'all, heal your body. Remember you, God. You could be, do, have anything when you put your mind to it. You're God in physical form, having human experience. Go and create something. Go and give life to something. Go ahead and don't feel bad whether you use your good versus your evil. Just as long as you feel good in here, be easy with yourself. Be easy with yourself. Stop judging yourself. Love yourself. Okay? From my heart to yours. Bye. Have the day that you deserve energetically because you're going to get what you're sending out. Be blessed.